Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into a game-changing accessory for your network setup, the Active PoE Splitter. If you've ever struggled with providing power to your non-PoE-compatible IP cameras, Wi-Fi cameras, routers, or other devices, this little device might just be the solution you've been looking for. Let's understand this accessory. A PoE, Power over Ethernet, Splitter is a device that separates data and power from a single Ethernet cable coming from a PoE-enabled switch or injector. It converts the incoming 48-volt power to a lower voltage, commonly 12-volt, and provides two outputs, one Ethernet port for data connectivity and one DC output jack for powering devices. This allows non-PoE devices like IP cameras, routers, and modems to receive both power and network access through the same cable, simplifying installation and enhancing flexibility in network setups. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the PoE splitter with an ESVIS Wi-Fi camera that features a LAN and DC port but isn't PoE-enabled. We'll connect it to the PoE switch alongside the IP camera network, but you can also use it exclusively for Wi-Fi cameras or other devices. This setup allows for standalone operation of the Wi-Fi camera while simultaneously providing both LAN data and power from the PoE switch using the active PoE splitter. Let's get started. The diagram illustrates the setup for using a PoE splitter cable between a camera and a PoE switch, which helps separate power and data over a single Ethernet cable. This allows non-PoE-compatible devices to benefit from both without needing a direct power connection. By using a CAT6 cable, you can connect the PoE switch to the camera, enabling remote data and power transmission over distances up to 328 feet 100 meters. This requires an 802.3 AF compliant PoE switch or a 48V power injector to provide adequate voltage and current. To implement the setup, start by connecting one end of the CAT6 Ethernet cable to a PoE port on the switch, which supplies both power and data through the cable. The other end of the cable connects to the Ethernet input on the PoE splitter, which acts as an intermediary to divide the power and data into separate outputs. These outputs include a LAN port for data, which connects to the camera's Ethernet port, and a DC output for power, which connects to the camera's power input, allowing it to receive both network connectivity and power through the same cable. This method is versatile and applicable to various camera brands and models, as long as the camera supports a DC 12V input and has an Ethernet port. This flexibility allows for easy integration of diverse cameras into your surveillance or network system, enabling them to communicate with network video recorders, NVRs, personal computers, or mobile apps for remote access and control. By using a PoE splitter cable, you can simplify installations, reduce the need for additional power sources and cables, and create a scalable, manageable network environment. Finally, as demonstrated, the camera is successfully powered and connected to the internet through the PoE switch. You can confirm this by observing the blue light on the camera, which indicates it is receiving power. Additionally, the PC software connected via LAN confirms that the camera is listed among the devices in the software's device list. This shows that both power and data transmission are functioning correctly, enabling effective operation and monitoring of the camera within the network.